Nina Jekyll, a guitar player from Berlin and this video is about my practice room, how I set up my practice room so that I can practice in a very efficient way and that I can focus and really get into the creative process. I'm getting a lot of questions about gear, the strings I'm using, the picks I'm using. So I'm using this video to demonstrate all those tools that I have been sometimes using for many years, why I use them and why I don't use other things. So it really doesn't matter which kind of music you're playing, if you're playing heavy metal or folk songs or jazz like I do. It's a really good idea to have a look at your practice place. I'm really curious how people set up their practice places. You know everybody has different needs and everybody has different tricks to stay focused and I think one of the best things that you can do is to arrange everything before you get started with practicing. Practicing can be really hard and it can be really really very straining on the mind so it's a good idea to just like set up everything in a way that you have the least the least interruption possible this is the metronome I've been using for ages I really love this metronome because it has a more acoustic sound it has the classic tempo marking and it runs on batteries the only downside is that it starts by itself sometimes in my backpack and then you get this sound and of course the batteries discharge themselves a little quickly. This tuner is also from Cork. It's pretty accurate, not so expensive. It has a jack input and you can also adjust the hertz which comes in handy at times. Since I'm trying to practice without the smartphone at least for the first hour I bought this watch which I find pretty cool and it also has a built-in timer. So it really all starts with the wish to be a better guitar player, to learn to play the guitar even better. Maybe there's a video that triggered me somehow, maybe I went to a jam session, there's a tune that I want to learn, maybe I've been talking to somebody who just said like you know this book's really great or listen to this recording and then I really want to get started. I'm so happy if I set up my room and don't have to look for all the things and then I get my book and I just write down some of the things that I want to learn and if I haven't been practicing for a longer time it can be more difficult to start again then I just don't think so much about the practice plan and just start with something that I want to play whatever it is but I still write it down so I don't forget it and then the practice plan evolves from there. I made a lot of videos about practice plans so if you're interested watch them but I would be gladly making another video about a practice plan again because it's a thing that's always evolving and changing with my needs, new ideas and really love doing that. So I really like to keep things simple when I'm practicing so I don't have to think about a lot of stuff. Put the guitar on a stand, I don't leave it in the bag so don't have to get it out of the bag if I need to practice that makes a difference for me. And also uh, the amplifier last but not least very important as well and if you like I could make a video about this amp as well. It's the Henriksen Jazz amp and I like it because you can practice with it also in a soft volume and it has a very even sound. I also have another amp here which is a great practice amp. I will link everything below. People who have been following me a little while on my YouTube channel or Instagram channel know that I like to have a practice book. Bigger all the time, don't ask me why. So it's from Leuchtturm, it's really great and I write everything down. So the strings I'm using are Gear Dario. I have those that have a wounded G string that I find that extremely helpful and I just have been playing them forever. All the strings are in one bag which I find pretty cool. And here you can see they have different colors which is beautiful and you can remember the strings by its colors. Not that I can do that after like 30 years of using those strings but I like them and it's just the strings I always use. And I'm playing those picks, the Chess 3, the little ones from Jim Dunlop. They also exist in red but they sound different, don't laugh. The plastic sounds different so I'm playing the black ones. I like that they're little and I like that they have a sharp edge and that you can't like that they're not too flexible because sometimes that can be sort of a problem as well. So I get a lot of questions about the app that I'm using to transcribe solos. It's the AnyTune Pro app. It costs 16 euros 99. I think that's a very good investment. You can build loops and slow them down. <laughs> 
to have the songs that you're transcribing on the hard drive of the iPad or the smartphone. You know, there's so many things that go into playing the guitar well. People see somebody sitting on a couch playing really cool chords or somebody standing on a stage playing a super cool, super cool solo and everybody wants to do that. But what you don't see is really the hours of practicing the sweat, blood and tears. Maybe the music schools the person went to, all the things that the person did do so that they could practice, maybe not meet friends, maybe not go on a vacation and just sit there with the guitar. And then sometimes you see that person playing and it looks like magic, but most of the time it's really hard work. <laughs> That's it for me. I hope I could give you some inspiration, some ideas how you can set up your practice room. Go ahead and try it. It will make your practice routine much more efficient. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye. If you didn't uh, uh, like, hit the like button if you like. Hit the like button if you like, subscribe if you aren't already.